When I first encountered the hashtag, hashtag tampon Tim, my initial reaction was one of enthusiasm. For those unfamiliar, this nickname is directed at Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, a key figure in the ongoing movement for menstrual equity. Having worked in this field for the past 15 years, I see this moniker not as an insult, but as a testament to the significant strides he's made in advancing menstrual rights. Governor Walz's achievements are groundbreaking. His policies, including eliminating the tampon tax and ensuring free menstrual products in all Minnesota public school bathrooms, are commendable steps toward gender equality and health justice. This nickname was intended to mock Walz by his critics, particularly those aligned with Trump and Vance, who aim to diminish the importance of men advocating for women's rights. But the reality is that Walz's policies address pressing issues. 21 states still tax menstrual products, adding an unnecessary financial burden on menstruators who already spend an average of $13.25 per month on these essential items. By removing this tax, Walz is addressing economic disparities and improving access to necessary health products. Moreover, his administration's policy to provide free menstrual products in schools is crucial. Studies show that one in five U.S. girls has missed school due to a lack of access to these products. Ensuring that they are available in all school bathrooms helps alleviate period poverty and supports students who may face their first menstruation at school or who lack access at home. Such measures also contribute to reducing the stigma associated with menstruation, fostering a more inclusive and supportive environment for all students. The contrast between Walz's progressive policies and the regressive legislation seen in other states is stark. For instance, laws like Florida's Don't Say Period Bill seek to suppress conversations about menstruation, while proposals to track menstrual data in restrictive states pose significant privacy and health risks. These regressive approaches exac exacerbate the culture of shame surrounding menstruation, highlighting the need for leaders who champion menstrual equity. In a political landscape increasingly fraught with controversy over reproductive rights and menstrual health, Walz stands out as a rare example of a politician who genuinely advocates for progress. His efforts to advance menstrual equity resonate with the majority of Americans who support eliminating the tampon tax, as reflected in surveys showing 60% public backing. As we move toward future elections, Supporting policies that promote menstrual equity will not only benefit individuals, but also resonate with a broad voter base. Embracing the nickname hashtag Tampontum could be a powerful way to celebrate and encourage more leaders to advocate for these essential issues. Stay subscribed for more videos.